Now, the other thing that I have to uh, bring you up to date on is this, this mysterious process we're calling transcription, which you know, reads double-stranded DNA and then makes a related molecule, which is a single-stranded RNA molecule, which is an informational molecule. That reaction is catalyzed by a very complex multi-subunit enzyme called RNA polymerase II. Now, there's the Roman numero II at the end of this because there are actually three enzymes in uh, most uh, mammals, uh, at least three enzymes that carry out different processes and different uh, types of RNA production, but I'm only going to tell you about the ones that make the classical uh, messenger RNA, which then ultimately becomes proteins. So now, one of the things that we learned early on in the study of uh, uh, mammalian or other multicellular organism uh, transcription processes is that despite the fact that this enzyme is quite complex in its structure, it turns out to be an enzyme that nevertheless needs a lot of help to do its job. So on its own, this RNA polymerase II cannot tell the difference between the non-coding regions of the genome and places where it's supposed to be coding or reading to make the appropriate uh, messenger RNAs. So this sort of leads you to think that there must be a number of other factors that somehow directs RNA polymerase to the right place at the right time in the genome of every cell in your body so that the right products get made so each cell in your body is functioning properly.